Alright guys, welcome back to another video in the Beginner Scripting series. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Let's start out with the comment question for today's video. Do you like the new Roblox Studio icons? Because I found an awesome tutorial on YouTube on how to get these ones back, and I personally very much prefer these. So, answer that in the comments below today, and today we're going to get into if statements. So, quickly, let's go ahead and define what these are. If statements are a way for us to check if certain conditions are true or false inside of a script. So, for example, we could check to see if um, the color of this block was yellow, then we want to print it's yellow, something like that, okay? Uh, later on, we're going to do more advanced stuff with it. But for now, let's insert a script into server script service. Let's rename this script. Uh, let's call it if statements script. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys because I think last time it wasn't very zoomed in and it was hard to see. So go ahead and get rid of the print hello world and I'm going to show you how you can actually write an if statement. So it's pretty simple. You write if and then your condition. Okay, so for this case, let's say if one plus one equals equals two. Okay, then and drop a line. So go ahead and write this, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain why we do all this stuff. So first, it's the if. If is just saying, okay, we're going to check whatever's next. And in this case, I'm saying if 1 plus 1 e is equal to 2, which we know it is. So anything inside between this then and the end is what's going to happen if this is true. Um, so if that will do anything inside of this right here. Um, also, this uh, equals equals, you may be wondering why are we doing that, and that's because we have to have two equals signs um, for if statements or loops when we get into those, um, because otherwise it's going to think that we're setting a variable. Remember how we had local variable equals to three uh, or something like that? So with a variable we say one equals because we're setting the variable, but when we want to check something we have two equal signs. It's just so that the script knows that we're not setting another um, another variable or something like that. So we can just go ahead and print the statement is true one, oops, one plus one equals two. Okay? And if we go ahead and play, or not play here, I meant to click run, but that's okay. If we go ahead and run this, let's see, the statement is true. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we can even check variables too. So let's go ahead and create a variable. Whoops, sorry, I'm still playing the game, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. Um, so we can also check variables. So we can say local my variable equals to a string code row 29, okay? And then down here we can say if my variable, remember capitalization is very important, equals equals code row 29, then, again, drop a line, it'll create an end for you, print, my variable is code row 29, okay? Now, if we go ahead and run this, you should see in the, de uh, not description, output, my variable is code row 29. Okay, so it's working just fine. Let's go ahead and head back into this script, and I want to go ahead and show you what would happen if it's not the same. For example, this. This is not the same as this, because remember, we have a capital C and capital B up at the top, and down here we have a lowercase c and lowercase b, so these are not the same. So, uh, if we run this, we should not see it, uh, the output say, my variable is code row 29. So if you look all the way up at the top, you'll see no, my variable is code row 29, and that's because my variable right here is not equal to this. It is equal to code row 29 with a capital C and B. So I hope that makes sense so far. We're going to go ahead and get into else if and if. So there's more you can do with if, if statements. Um, you can also do else if. So else if goes in between the then and the end once you're done with what's going to happen if it's true. So in this case, I only want to print this if my variable is equal to code for 29 with the lowercase c and b. So after all that, we can say else if my variable equals equals um, code bruh 29, <laughs> then we can print my variable equals code bruh. Okay. 
So you'll notice we still have one end, and that is because this is still one if statement. This whole block is one if statement. It's just saying if it's this, then we'll print this. Otherwise, if it's this, then we'll print this. Okay? And last but not least, we can say else. And that is anything else. Okay? So that means that it is not CodeBro29 with a capital C and B. It is not CodeBro29. It is anything else. Okay? My variable is anything else. So we'll say my variable is not CodeBro29 or CodeBro. Okay? So you can have as many else ifs as, if, uh, as you want. You can add as many of those as you need to in that uh, situation. But I only want to do one of each so that you guys can see. However, you can only have one if and one else. Else ifs, you can have as many as you want. But remember, everything goes be between the else ifs and the else elses go between the then and the end. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, if we go ahead and run this, we should see in the output that... My variable is not codebro29 or codebro. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and try something. Let's, I'm going to quickly show you how to do ands and ors. And that'll be it for this video. Um, so maybe you want to check more than one condition, okay? And you don't want to have multiple if statements. Maybe you don't want to keep going if 2 plus 2 equals equals 4, then and then have this inside of here. Maybe you don't want to do all this, blah, 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 right? Maybe you just want to put it all into one if statement. So what you can do is after the first condition, right? If one plus one equals equals two, after that we can write and, and then another condition, like if two plus two equals equals four. So this will only print if one plus one is equal to two and two plus two is equal to four, okay? However, let's create a new if statement and say if one plus one equals equals sorry actually let's say if my variable equals code bro 29 with a lowercase c and b remember whoops equals equals remember this is not my variable so it will this is this is false um right so if my variable equals equals code bro 29 or one plus one equals equals two then print something was true for the if statement so, what do you think this is going to print? Do you think this will print anything, or do you think it will not? Well, let's go ahead and run it, and I'll show you. And look at that. Something was true for the if statement. So it did print um, right here. It printed for um, this if statement, and the reason is we said or, okay? We said, hey, if this, um, if this or this is true, either one of those, okay? If those are true, then we're good to go and we can still print. This is saying if both of these are true, then we need to, then we can do that. If you use an and, then both or all of the situations have to be true. You can use as many ands if you want. Okay? Uh, let me show you actually one more thing. I totally got ahead of myself. We have one more thing to do, and those are the different operators. Let me just quickly show you that. You don't just have to do equals. You could also do greater than. So if uh, 3 is greater than 2, then print 3 is greater than 2, and you'll notice that we don't have to have two greater thans, and we can't actually have two greater thans, and that's because we don't, when we're defining a variable, we don't use the greater than symbol, <laughs> right? We use the equals, so we're totally fine with 1. So if 3 is greater than 2, or we could use if 3 is less than 2. But now, what if we want to check if it's less than or equal? Just add an equal sign. Less than or equal, and remember the equal is always on the right side, so you do the greater than or you do the less than first, okay? And then you do the equal. So this is, if if 3 is greater than or equal to 2, then we can print 3 is greater than or equal to 2. And that's it. So if statements are super, super important, um, you can do tons of stuff with this. And we're going to really use it, especially in our final game. We can check things like if the number of players is 2. If we have 2 or more players in the game, then we can actually start the round. Stuff like that. Um, or you could check to see how many coins a player has. So if they have 100 coins, then they can buy this new item. So I hope that made sense and I hope this was helpful. If it was, please do make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to put these out as often as I can. Next episode should be out very soon. Uh, if it is out, it'll be up on your screen right now. Otherwise, it'll just be some other video on the screen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment or join my description if you have any questions. Sorry, join my description. Join my Discord link in the description if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.